Okay, have you used one of these reels before? Nope. Okay, she's a first timer, folks. We're gonna get her <laughs> catching fish today. So you've never, <laughs> you've never been bass fishing? No. Nope. All right. I've, I've used fishing a fishing line. rod where you push the button. Okay, see, <laughs> this is a little bit different. All right. <laughs> You're going to grab the rod with your hand between your ring and middle finger. Use your trigger finger to grab the line and you're going to open up the bale. Then you're going to go back to about two and then you're going to let it go at about 11. There she goes. Nice, nice. Just let it sit down to the bottom now. Perfect. Now close the bale and just let it sit. And sometimes if you just let it sit for like a minute, it gives that time for that worm to settle down. The bass might be seeing it, maybe they're curious, and convince them to come up and grab it. So sometimes the slower you go, uh, the, f the better the fishing. Are Especially with fish. Are we a worm, or are we, or we got something going on here? Well, that might be a fish. I don't know. You got a fish. I they got fish a on. fish. They fish, fish on. on. Good job. Oh my gosh, he is not happy. Good job, Mariah. He's not happy with me. <laughs> Fish on! Woohoo! My first bass. All right, good job. <laughs> okay. Now you gotta hold that bass by the bottom lip. What do I do with this? Try and let it down. Just sit on the ground. Oh, I don't want to touch him. You could be okay. Yeah, pinch it hard. Don't okay, let it go. Got it. Teach a man to fish. Teach a man to fish or a woman to fish. Hala. Now there's some different setups on how you put your worm on the hook for a drop shot. The technique I like to use the most is just to hook it right through the nose. So I'm gonna hook it right through the nose just like this. And that's gonna give that worm a lot of action as I'm wiggling around. So you can see, I got the worm 18 inches below. I got the Ned rig, drop dead Ned. Let's roll. Oh, fish on it. Oh, fish on There's there. a fish in there. <laughs> Good job. Wow. Good job. Dang. That's oh. a big fish. Great fish. Great catch. <laughs> That's not a hot dog bass. No, not at all. Okay. Go ahead and lower your rod down. Let's get a nice picture of that fish. You ready? So, so pinch this one, pinch that lip. Yep. Hold that. <laughs> That's a big fish. Good catch, Mariah. Good catch. And there you have it. Aaron's magic six inch rubble worm never disappoints. What also doesn't disappoint is that when you find something you love to do, is you find someone that you love to do it with. And I'm so grateful that Mariah's here with me here today, like I share one of my passions with her and pass it down. So until next time, tight lines, and I'll see you on the water.